Okay, let's look at the next one. We're going to use that same concept. This is the first one where we had a denominator that's a group or a quantity. So to get rid of it, you're going to multiply by that group or that quantity. If it's helpful to put it in parentheses, go ahead. Because you're going to multiply by the whole group. It's stuck together right now. You can't just multiply by A or B and cancel anything out. So on the left, I have R times A plus B. And you know what? You could have distributed right there if you wanted to. I didn't because I don't want to lose anybody. But if you've got this, you could have saved a step and distributed it. Same would have been true over here with that 180 and minus 2. Actually, it's true on several questions. OK, I'm solving for A. And I have an A in the parentheses, which means I need to get it out of the parentheses by distributing. R times A, R A, R times B, R B. And again, it doesn't matter if you write it R A or A R. The order that you write those two letters doesn't matter. I'm solving for A, and it's appearing more than once. That's your ding ding moment that you have to say, okay, I'm going to have to factor. So, they're on opposite sides of equal, which means that I'm going to have to get them to the same side. So, let's move the one from the left to the right, then we don't have to move two things. So, I'm going to minus my RA. So, I have RB equals AB minus RA. Solving for that A. So RB equals, and this is where I have to factor. I'm going to change the expression so I only see A once. Opposite of my distributive property. So A comes out. Divide that in. A into AB leaves me the B minus A into RA leaves me the R. Now I only see A once. I'm taking A times the quantity, so to get rid of the quantity, I divide by the quantity. And my answer is RB over B minus R. Okay, and my last one. This denominator, once again, is not a single term. Well, I guess it really is. It's not one single thing without addition and subtraction. But that expression as a quantity or group is the LCD, the common denominator. So I'm going to multiply by that expression. In an expression like this, big F and little f do not mean the same thing. So on the left, I get capital big F times this quantity, which you can distribute if you would like. On the right, those quantities cancel because I multiplied by that quantity. That's why I did it. Now I'm just left with that FG. So if you distributed immediately, that's fine. You're saving yourself a step. If not, we're going to do it right now. So I distribute, and I have FF plus FG minus FD equals FG. Which reminds me of my Dr. Seuss book. Big A, little A. What begins with A? Aunt Annie's alligator, A, A, A. Big B, little B. What begins with B? Barber, baby, bubbles, and a bumblebee. Big C, little C, but because the C is Pamela on a ceiling, C, C, C. Think I read that book a few times? I don't remember much because I remember fit for fat for fat for F. Uh, it's a good read. Just read it. Who, who do you think wrote it? Dr. Seuss. Gosh, gosh, yes. Yeah, see, you even knew. Did I say Dr. Seuss? Yeah. Oh, dang it. You probably would have known anyway. Okay, we're solving for D. 
So first, I'm going to do what to get the D term alone? Got other stuff there. Yes, good. Subtract big F from the line, big F from the All right, subtract. Subtract, then I added, you said subtract, I would have been added. Subtract them. I hope that, because I'm hoping to do this, that after we finish this goal today, that I'm not going to write this stuff anymore. I'm just going to start doing it. Okay, you want to get to that point where you just do it. Now you can keep writing if you need to, but you want to get to that point where you don't show that, you just actually do the operation. Okay, so cancels, cancels, and I have minus FD equals in any order, it doesn't really matter. But I will say little FG and big FG don't mean the same thing. So in any order, FG minus FF minus FG. And then my last step is to, to get that D by itself, divide, divide by negative F. Negative F. That's my answer. As weird as it looks. I guess there's no way to like check these. <laughs> no, there's no way to check these. Absolutely not. Sorry. Now, someone asked me, you know, when would you really ever want to do this? And there is, there is a circumstance that I can really think of, okay? Um, let's say you were using this formula in a chemistry class. I don't know what, I don't know what this formula represents. It means something for some, something, though. Let's say you were using this formula in a chemistry class, and you had to plug in the values of big F, little f, little g, ten times to find D. So you had to plug these values in for 10 things. You had to do it at 2 seconds, 5 seconds, 12 seconds, 14 seconds for some particular experiment you're doing. Okay? The math to do that 10 times, to plug numbers in all these places and then solve that for D 10 times would be a lot of work. Where if you would solve the equation for D first, like we just did, and then plug the numbers here, it's much simpler. Okay, it's much quicker, it's much faster. You only have to solve for that D one time instead of really 10 times. Because all that algebra that we just went through, you would have to do. For this, you know, you might even be able to do some of that in your head. You know, plug it in and then just do a division. Okay? So that would be a useful thing. I don't know if many people would do it, but it sure would save a lot of work and time. Okay, so we are finished. With goal 2-6, we are finished with 